One of the best things that you can do for your own success before shooting a wedding is scouting the location. And that's not just like showing up at the location and being like, oh, this is nice and just leaving. No, there's a lot more to scouting than just looking at it. Sometimes I will just show up an hour or so before the wedding to do this. Uh, but in this case, I have my first wedding coming up of the year in a couple weeks. This is actually a library that's kind of iconic and well known here in Toronto. Uh, I've been there a bunch of times, but I've never shot a wedding there before. And it just so happens to be within walking distance. So I'm going to go check it out today, do my thing, and then come back and then tell you what I do. I have pretty much learned everything in this wedding business through experience. And a lot of bad experiences. And part of that, most of that is my fault. Um, and what I did that was my fault early on, my first year, maybe two years, was that I did not scout locations, ever. I just showed up and was like, oh, a new place, let's shoot here. And I, for some reason, I kind of liked that. I liked the kind of tension of not knowing what, I don't know, I was crazy. Uh, it was a bad idea and it kicked me in the butt sometimes because you can look really dumb if somebody says, oh, where are we shooting this? And you're like, uh, give me a second or like, oh, are we going to shoot at that place? And you're like, wait, what place? I don't know what you're talking about. And not to mention, it just puts on, even if no one asks you that or there's no real weird situations, it just puts so much extra stress on you. Uh, going into a place that you've never been before. Like, it's just crazy. I don't know why I did it. I'm sure none of you do the same thing. And now I really check things out. I scout everything. Even if it's a location that I've already been there already, I will still arrive a little early and make sure go to all of the spots, go to my favorite spots that I like to shoot and make sure that everything's still okay. I want to make sure that there's not like a bulldozer in the middle of the grassy area that I like to shoot. So the first thing that I do when I'm scouting location is I will verbally walk through what's happening on the wedding day and in the actual space that I'll be shooting it in. I know that might be a little weird to you, but I like to verbally say, okay, so the ceremony is going to happen here. The bride's going to walk down here. Okay, where are, where's the groom going to be? Okay, he's going to be there. And then after that, we're going to do family photos. I talk through everything out loud. Not everything in super detail, but of course, the main aspects of the wedding day. And I either do this to myself out loud. I know that's weird. Or if there's a wedding coordinator or if Ali's there with me or an assistant, I will, I will do this in every location. And the reason why I like doing this is that it, there's for some reason, when I'm saying those things out loud, it's then when I foresee issues or as I'm talking through this, I'm like, oh, OK, the bride's going to come through here, but that's going to be there. Like, oh, man, that's going to look really bad. Can we do anything about that before the day of the wedding? It brings up any issues that I need to figure out and it gives me the time to be able to solve those. The second thing I do is a full and complete and thorough walk around. Like, I mean, I walk around everywhere. <laughs> I want to see all of the nooks and crannies. Kind of, I don't like that word. Uh, I walk everywhere to make sure that I have a really good grasp of everything that this location offers. I think this is a little bit of the secret to why, like, I think I always find great locations to shoot at. And I think one of the reasons is because I know the location really well by the time I'm shooting at it. Um, and it's not just, you know, oh, I look at this area. Oh, this is a nice place to shoot. No, no, no. I walk in all corners of it and I look in all of different directions to maybe see a perspective that people don't normally see. Or, you know, maybe I've shot at this venue so many times and I'm like, oh, I want to find something different. By walking around and looking at, at the same place from different angles, sometimes you can find a really new and great perspective that people haven't thought of before. The third thing I do as I'm doing that walk around, I just take photos of anything that I like. I'm not going to be super picky here, but if I like it, I'm going to shoot it. And 
The reason is I'm getting a little catalog on my phone of places that I like that are like for sure, but then also places that are kind of okay, just in case I need some type of backup location. If something happens or we just need to shoot in more places, I have that plan already in mind. This is also a good time to ask the venue, you know, is there any places where normally people shoot? I don't often take the, those suggestions, but it's good to know uh, what people normally do if there's any kind of secret locations or places that aren't super obvious. Another thing is to find out if they have any rules because you don't want to be stuck on the wedding day like intending to do something and then the venue's like, nah, you can't do that. So uh, it makes you look really silly uh, in front of your clients and it can wreck your plan. And one of the big reasons why I wanted to scout this location before the day of the wedding is that a bunch of the spaces that they'll be using on their day aren't even open to the public. So you can't just like go there and check them out. You need someone specifically from the venue to show you around. The last thing that I do after I've walked around, after I've taken a bunch of pictures, I still in the venue, not, I don't go home and do it. I do it at the venue because I feel like there's something different when you're actually there. You have a little bit more of a realistic idea of what's actually possible. I make a rough plan. This is not gonna be like the exact thing, but I make a rough plan, again, out loud, saying like, okay, we're gonna do the first look here. She's gonna walk down. He's gonna be standing here. Oh, oh, will this work because there's a parking lot? So I walk through all of those things and make a rough plan, a rough A plan. Uh, with my favorite locations and then kind of make a note of that. I, I don't make like a super detailed plan, but I kind of keep it in the back of my mind. I like some of the photos so that I can be reminded of this on the actual day. And then what I do is also make a mental note of what are the secondary places or what the backup places are. So that on the day of, if something happens, if it's raining or if the sun's different than I expected it to be, I can quickly move into a plan B and there's no issues at all. Okay.